This job is in Centralia, California, down by uh, Yuma, California, and we're at a uh, Centralia prison sewage pond. Uh, they need to connect four sewage ponds, uh, so they got to put a pipe through the levee that uh, um, each pond uh, has, the bank of the pond to the next pond, so we got to put a pipe in. And of course, here's the mound, the pond bank isn't high enough, so they had to make a mound of dirt here. We're just going out, make a little horseshoe back over to here. And they're just putting, a, a, in this corner here, they're putting a, a pipe to the next pond. This aqua dam's a 12 foot high by uh, 210 feet. Excuse me, this is a 16 foot high dam, not a 12 foot high dam. A 16 foot high dam by 212 feet long, open into them both ends. We got the aqua dam sitting on top of the berm, have uh, taken off the ropes and uh, the uh, uh, protective wrap. We're going to go out, make a little loop, and back in right over into here. They're working right in here. The aqua dam's ready uh, to uh, put hoses in the end. It's run unrolled off the, the dirt berm. It's waiting for water. We've pump been pumping for about 20 minutes. Now we've been pumping for about an hour and a half. We've got the aqua dam out about 70 feet, and now it's time to turn it. We're trying to pull this aqua dam around. We're tightening up this rope that goes through the bottom of the bag to the bottom of the aqua dam so we can make this corner. It's done with a slip knot so we can uh, adjust it if we need to. You can see how we've got the uh, turn going in it. Now as it fills up, we've got uh, four pumps running to the outside edge and uh, one pump running on the inside tube. The outside tube out here has much more, uh, 
it's longer and it'll have much more water in it than the inside tube has, which is along here. This is the dewatered area, or it's going to be, it's this corner here. They're going to put a culvert right across this uh, um, embankment, a culvert in to drain one pond to the other pond. I'm standing on the end of uh, the Aqua Dam roll here. There's the roll. I'm standing on uh, the outside edge of it. And here's the uh, log that uh, the Aqua Dam's rolled up on. You can see the rope here is uh, wound around uh, the log this way, this way, this way. So when we pull on it with the excavator, way over there that the log unrolls with the rope. So the more he pulls, the more the log twists back here because the rope's wrapped the right way around the log to make this happen. It can't be wrapped the other way. Uh, it doesn't work. Here in the middle of the aqua dam, we always leave a uh, five to six inch flap. There it is. I've cut a hole in it, tied this rope to it, that goes over there. Now we're going to pull on this here eventually. This part here is going to the bottom. It will go to the bottom approximately right there. So we tie the rope here, so when it rolls over, it will be on the bottom right there, about three feet out from where the uh, aqua dam is right now. And uh, this will, again, will help uh, sure making our turn, which is we have to get straight to this bank over here. Right at the moment, we're not. This end here has 25 feet to go. This end over here has 65 feet to go. We have to keep pulling on this rope to make this turn. And once we uh, get a little advantage, uh, we have to tie the, the ropes off so uh, it won't go back on it. So the, little ro the ropes hold uh, it in place. We've also got, when we first started out, because we we're going to pull on this aqua dam, put three ropes going uh, one here, one here, one here, going over there. Now the ropes go to the bottom of the aqua dam, and this uh, helps keep us from, as we pull on the aqua dam to make the turn, from crowding his work area. So we don't want to pull on it. The easiest thing to do is pull the aqua dam into the work area, which is in here, and uh, he needs all this space. Uh, so that's why to assure that we have used ropes and those ropes go back to the right angle so we used lots of ropes so far we're up to about 1200 feet now we're pulling it with this excavator you see it moves very slowly there's the rope going to the end of the log And that's it. You gotta let it fill up some more. Again, the outside, there's two inside tubes. The outside tube on this side is what the outside would be because this is the lake side. The other side is going to be the dewatered side. The outside tube here has got uh, significantly more uh, length to travel than the inside tube. So um, We've got uh, four pumps on the, uh, this tube and one pump on the inside tube, three inch. And uh, because the water is nine and a half feet deep, it takes a while for it to pump up. And uh, so be patient and it's all going to happen today. Now the rope that I tied uh, here in the middle just a second ago that I told you about when I was out there. So it's going underneath. It goes back to where that red pump is to a fence post in front of that uh, uh, cat um, loader. We're slowly bringing the far end around. It's got to go up to this bank and hit it square. 
It can't hit it at an angle like it's going now. So we've got to hit the bank square and that's what we're trying to accomplish here. Here we are with uh, the rope that goes out that I tied to the uh, by the seam that's on the bottom of the aqua dam when it unrolls. There it is going out. And it goes straight to the bottom down there and that hold, helps hold the turn in. The aqua dam. We're getting closer and closer. You can see the two ropes, one here, one over here. They're going to the bottom of the aqua dam to hold it in place. Got to make another pull. I've got to straighten this board, uh, this aqua dam out so it comes up on the bank evenly. So I got to make another pull with it, with a rope. You! The excavator's pulling the aqua dam around. He's pushing this end out and over to avoid this uh, uh, aeration uh, unit here. and slow. excavator's bucket's going to stay right there as the aqua dam keeps filling up. It's going to have to roll up the bank and hit this mound of dirt. Uh, that increases the height of the pond uh, bank here and we need that height uh, to, uh, do, uh, for the inside of the aqua dam. We're going to tie this rope off right there. Goes back to the fence post. We got a nice little half moon in here. This is the outside edge. Now the aqua dam is square, almost square to the bank it's going to run up on. the excavator.
Now we finally got the bucket. It's got a rope on it, it to the back of the bucket. Now the aqua dam is going to go up and over that rope. And thus it will line right up with this pile of dirt that we put here. This is uh, the next morning uh, because of the prison rules here. Uh, we had to uh, uh, leave their uh, property at uh, 3.30. So we had to shut our pumps off, or this would have been d done on day one. Uh, but here's how we left the aqua dam uh, over the night. We're, we're going to finish pumping her up now. Um, we, again, we, we were out of here by 4 o'clock. We should have stayed here until 8 o'clock and got this done. Uh, but uh, everything's going well, and uh, it's a new day, and uh, hopefully this will be done here and, uh, uh, by this afternoon. I have to read the spec, but no, I'm not going to read the spec. Yeah. No, you're not on it. You've got him up now. Try and uh, move this aqua dam over. That rope ain't gonna hit me. That excavator, right at the moment, it, they can't pull sideways. Now he's trying to back up. It wouldn't pull this uh, by swinging. They can't. They don't swing where the darn. And evidently he can't. He can't. Uh, he's going to break the rope. It's only a 300 pound test rope. We moved it over, but we didn't move it over enough to clear this uh, sign with the electrical stuff. So I guess we're going to live with it where it is and uh, put dirt around this post. So now we got a steel uh, choker. Uh, cable around that into the log so it definitely ain't going to break now. Wait a sec, where's that other one at? Huh? Wait a second, wait a second. This way. Up this way. Yeah. Over, get it up there. Get it up there.
up this post right here. So we won't bend it as the Aquadam pushes on it when it gets fuller. We had to extend out the uh, berm here on top of the uh, pond bank. That's what we're doing right now. Of course, uh, there's uh, it's too long on the other side, not long enough on this side. So uh, we're uh, 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 customizing it right now to fit where the aqua dam actually ended up at, which is only two, three feet from where. We started, but uh, the berm wasn't long enough then, and so now uh, we're making it a little bit bigger. This slack is because the uh, inside radius of the aqua dam is much shorter than the outside, so uh, that's why we have all this slack. Uh, it's probably going to leak more underneath the aqua dam, right here underneath all these pleats, uh, than anywhere else along the aqua dam, provided everything's the same. We, we don't go over uh, something that's laying on the bottom that we don't know of. An old uh, this is man-made, so probably not. The aqua dam at this point is a little over 12 feet high. Okay, the aqua dam's uh, pumped up. We've moved the pumps. We're now dewatering the work area, which is here, of course. You can see the pumps have already uh, taken down the uh, water from this mark down to water's edge. Geez, they dropped that in about 10 minutes. So we've got a great seal underneath this aqua dam. It's approximately uh, 12 o'clock uh, noon. We've uh, turned off the pumps, pump it into the aqua dam, it's full. We're dewatering the work area. We've got her pumped down about two feet.
20 minutes have passed since the last picture. We've dropped the uh, water level easily, another uh, 16 inches. So it's going down fast. That means we got a great sill on the bottom of it so far. Approximately uh, 30 minutes since the last time uh, they've cleaned the screens of the two pumps plus they moved them down the uh, hill so the suction hoses could reach the water. Everything looks great. It's uh, going down fast. Looking from across the pond. from another angle. They have four ponds to do. Cleaning the screen looks pretty darn clean when they pulled it up. So we've uh, dewatered six feet of water. We've got three feet left. The side of this aqua dam is moved about three feet into uh, the dewatered area, but his hole starts way over here. So he's still a good uh, 20 feet away from the end of his pipe. So, so far he's got lots of work uh, room to accomplish his uh, task of putting a pipe through that uh, levee there from one pond to the other. Sixteen foot high aqua dam. Holding back approximately nine and a half feet of water. tied to the end of the hose. Of course, the end of the hose got a bunch of garbage sucked on it. Well, the last couple of feet is going to take a long time because uh, the screens are all plugged. And nobody wants to get down in the hole and unclean them. Well, 
but you can see the suction hose isn't long enough and uh, I've warned them of that before we ever uh, sold them the aqua dam and uh, here again they're uh, just fighting it they just don't have long enough suction hoses those pumps oil uh, have automatic oil uh, uh, shutoffs when they're on an angle like that so they have to keep cleaning the end of the thing. That means all that paper down there, all those little specks are, need to go to that pump. And it's an end that, but they let their crew go home, didn't want to pay them overtime. Started at six o'clock in the morning, it's two o'clock and they're gone. They're out of here. So uh, now you've got one guy, the job foreman actually, what a worker. I mean, that's slick. He could slide all the way down into that. Uh, just not a good idea to be here with just one person. <laughs> well, it's time to go. They've actually are below. Uh, the water in here is below the cut they plan on putting into the uh, bank uh, through to the other pond. So um, the water depth is uh, two feet below there, so uh, they don't even need to get all the water out of this little area here. Um, so uh, we're going to call this one uh, done, and uh, they're going to work on this with a crew a little bit more tomorrow. They're going to have to keep uh, those uh, pumps uh, clean, the filters clean, uh, the suction screen cleaned is what I'm, I mean, not a filter. and. Uh, Nobody should be here by themselves, and um, so everybody's going to call or quit here and start again tomorrow. I will not be here, so this is the last of the film. Just a cesspool down there. We're going to move this aqua dam and do all four ponds. They're, they, of course, are going to move it themselves, the contractor is. Which comes down to one guy that I talked to on the phone, and evidently this gentleman. <laughs> and, uh, gee, what a lot of work. I don't know that they're prepared for this. It's a lot of work to move this aqua dam. And of course they don't have a crew that works every day together. So uh, I just don't know, but uh, they've paid me. So uh, um, I can only give them all the support I can. And uh, it's up to them. It's got to take a can-do type guy. And uh, this gentleman by the name of James is a can-do type guy. Uh, uh, it's getting thicker and thicker there on the bottom. Um, these pumps, uh, they've done a lot. They're going to do it, but they're too really too small for this. You need a big trash pump, six inch. Done for the day. Pumps are shut off and uh, 
too much uh, stuff uh, clinging to the screens and they've got to have a crew here to just address the cleaning of the screen. All that paper there is going to go to those pumps so uh, every piece has got to be picked off of it or you're going to take a rake and rake that up out of there. That means somebody's going to get down there in a pair of waders and um, uh, but it ain't a job to do from the top of the bank. It's a job to do from being down there. Or the pumps have to do it, and I'm not sure they're up to it, but... Uh, well, those, those are trash pumps you could pump a lot of shit through there, but...